You know that I'm a medical esthetician who loves beauty on a budget? Well, after I met Olivia Rodrigo, my face was basically swollen from crying about something else, and I stumbled upon a subscriber while looking for a Starbucks. Let me explain all of this and why this relates to me never spending full price on some of these beauty items again. So essentially, Ulta is having a sale. It only goes until July 15th, and I have been feeling, whoo, I've been feeling all the feels, and I hate it. Where I tell you I hate it? I've been going through it and some very near and dear people to me have basically drug me out of my cave of living under a rock and said, Cassandra, you need to show up and do life. And I'm like, I don't want to. <laughs> Not like that, but I've been really sad about stuff, okay? So anyways, they dragged me out and I meet Olivia Rodrigo and it was amazing. The problem was I got to see a bunch of friends and other creators at that event and people were asking me if I was having an allergic reaction because my face was literally swollen. I've been crying like nonstop. Woo, it has been so much. And um, I'm laughing about it because it's really uncomfortable for me. So basically my eyes are swollen and I like can't even see out of them, okay? And after this really great night with friends and Olivia Rodrigo, I wake up the next morning and I am just like, I need to do something about this face. I need to get caffeine in my veins. Like what is wrong with me? So I go to a mall to find a Starbucks and there are these two people, a really beautiful woman and a guy walking around with their Starbucks cups. And I said, excuse me, where did you get that caffeination? I need some. And they directed me upstairs. Now, while I was waiting in line at the Starbucks, the guy comes over and says, are you Cassandra? And I was like, well, well, why yes, why, why do you ask? <laughs> because like he had good skin, but I was like, do you watch skincare content? Like what's happening here? And he's like, my wife is named Serenity. She works next door at Ulta and she is obsessed with your videos. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi, I love meeting subscribers. Let me hug her. But also my face is swollen because I've been crying nonstop, including this morning. So please excuse me. Well, I got to meet Serenity. We got to take some selfies and she said, listen, the store doesn't open for another hour or two, but we're having an Ulta sale. Do you want to come in and shop the sale early? And I was like, girl, retail therapy. Yes, the fact that I could get out of bed today, even though I was literally crying 10 minutes ago in the bathroom, I am going to attempt to shop my way out of this despair. Is that a healthy coping mechanism? Probably not, but your acne big sister has been going through it and I am just, I am using the things that work. At least I'm not into drugs and alcohol, okay? Like I'm, I'm just reminding myself that it could be worse. Anyways, Serenity, our beautiful butterfly subscriber, as well as Diana, who was, I think she was like a district manager, allowed me to go in and shop and told me about all of the sale items that were the best. And I got, well, basically I got stuff for my swollen face, okay? But while I was there, I was asking them, what are you most excited about? Like, give me the lowdown on the sale. And when I saw that there's buy one, get one free, that certain brands are 15, 20, even 30% off, I was like, I'm not gonna be paying full price for these for a very long time, if not ever again, am I? No. So I wanted to share with you the things that I have discovered on sale, the ones that I'm going to be stocking up on. And especially if you're someone who doesn't wanna spend a ton of money on beauty, but you want good products, these are the ones that are actually actually worth the money. But if you can get them on sale, do not spend full price and kind of how you can swap these out in a routine or you can just restock if these are some of your favorites. Now, the first thing that I obviously purchased were these eye patches. The eye patches that I love and I have been using don't stay on my face when I'm crying. <laughs> I'm trying these, okay? These were from the buy one, get one free section and Patchology has these rejuvenating eye gels. I'm hoping that the gels will actually stay on my face a little bit longer, but I was literally crying this morning. I'm probably gonna cry again in an hour. <laughs> Let me test these out and let you know how they work. Hey guys, it's Cass from the future and great news, these patches actually work really well while you're crying. They're kind of jelly, so they actually stick to your face. I literally cried for way too long and then I took a nap and they didn't even come off of my face when I was napping. And when I woke back up and kind of peeled them off, my under eyes weren't as puffy as they normally are after I cry. So. I'm gonna keep testing the other ones, but like so far, these are looking good. Patchology is a great brand for face masks, but seeing as these are buy one, get one, I'm into it. Now, when I asked Serenity and Diana about their favorites, Serenity said it's a 10 hair care. She said that she's a curly girl like me and it's a 10 is just bomb diggity. They have a spray, I think it's like 10% off, but they have a mini and a full size. It's like a 10 in one product. It works when your hair is styled or when it's curly. And although I didn't pick it up, I did ask Diana what she would recommend. And she recommended the Dyson hair dryer curler thingy. I think it's basically like a vacuum for your hair, but it like curls it. And I actually think that I'm going to get this because it's on sale. She was telling me that it's the most amazing thing. Apparently she used it to blow out her hair that morning and her hair looks great. The issue is that it's like 
dollars. I do not want to pay full price for that. And if I can get it on sale, you're right. I am not gonna get it unless it's on sale. And I'm going to see if it actually works on my curly hair. So I will have to report back on that. But I know people are obsessed with this vacuum hair dryer type thing. So I want to see if it actually works on my styled hair or on my hair naturally. And when I have the emotional capacity to lift my arms up above my head for an extended period of time and not cry about it, that's what I'm gonna do. A slam dunk for hair care is Living Proof. It's the dry shampoo, the perfect hair day. Mains by Mel was the one who got me hooked on this, but they have the minis and the large size and they are 20% off. But this is something that I'm stocking up on and I'm not gonna be paying full price for Living Proof ever again if it is on sale. One of the best dry shampoos I've ever used. I literally have it in my hair right now because I haven't showered in God way too long. <laughs> going to talk about that either. Anyways, Living Proof, 20% off. I'm stocking up on it. Now, Olaplex is also on sale. Everyone has told me that for my curly hair, I need to try Olaplex, and I just have not tried it. Debbie is one of our beautiful butterflies that I haven't spoken to in way too long, and she loves Olaplex for her curls. Now, I've never gotten the stuff because it's too expensive. Like, I haven't been able to bite the bullet. Well, they literally had buy one, get one for the Olaplex minis, along with things like Tula and with Osea. So Tula, I hear everyone speaking about, and I haven't tried a lot of their products, but they have this product called the Breakout Star that's supposed to have sulfur in it. Seems really, really good. And I constantly hear people talking about Tula, but sometimes I've looked at it and I'm like, mm, too expensive or just like, it's not calling my name today. I think it's about time for Cast Cast to try both Tula and Tatcha, which I owe you a review on since I got the minis at Sephora literally like a year ago. Yeah, I have I have that video coming too. I'm a little behind on stuff. They also had Osea seaweed products from Malibu, California. Basically, this is the ethical, non, you know, Ouija board version of La Mer that's actually affordable, made by women in California for good skin. Osea is fantastic and they can be a little bit more on the pricey side but they actually care about sustainability. And I think that they are actually worth the price. And I see them as an alternative to La Mer that I can actually get behind because you know we don't stand La Mer in this house and their seaweed Ouija board astrophysicist stuff. Go astrophysicists and all that, but not paying $400 for it. I will, however, buy one, get one with the Olaplex, the Tula, and the Osea. Now, if you don't want the Osea as buy one, get one, they also have Osea at 30% off along with Dermalogica. I saw the Beauty Stat Vitamin C in the little minis as well. And although they did not have the Skin Iceland microneedling and dry patches at the Culver City location, they do have them online and elsewhere. Skin Iceland has some of the best products. They can be a little bit pricey, but if you can get them 30% off, that is what I am doing. They also have this, um, it's almost like a cottage cheese moisturizer. It's phenomenal. Highly recommend. And those are probably two of my slam dunk products from Skin Iceland. Really good kind of pricey, get them 30% off. That's what I say. Also Dermalogica, they have some amazing products. Some are hit and miss. Most of the clear start stuff from Dermalogica is bomb diggity. They've also got great face masks, some good cleansers, some good serums. Again, it depends on the product, but some of the Dermalogica stuff has gotten real pricey. Like their new pore screen, amazing, but it's $50. 30% off? Yes, please. That's literally taking 15 bucks off of that sunscreen. It is amazing. It's a little bit over $30 for it. And it is so good if you have large pores. I actually recommend multi asking your sunscreen, which I've done a video on. Dermalogica is a medical SD bestie. Again, not every product works perfectly, but when you find the right ones, they are so good. And I'm not paying full price for them if I can get them 30% off. Another 30% off are Kiss Nails. I haven't gotten a manicure in probably two or three years. I've gotten my toes done, but not my fingernails. And the reason why is because I use these little press-ons. I naturally have very short nails. I need them for doing facials, for rock climbing, for playing piano, and, you know, for scratching behind my ears. These I can literally take on, pop off. They are my favorite. It's a five minute manicure and they always look perfect. They don't chip. They don't get you know, scraggly or like there's no polish that can kind of get dented or chip. These are my absolute favorites. And they have uh, like a limited edition floral set that I've really been loving. The Kiss Impress Press On Nails or the Dashing Diva Nails. I honestly don't know if I'm ever going to go back to regular manicures. They're already really inexpensive. They're like, you know, eight to $10 for a little pack and you get 30 instead of just 10. So like if you are the right size, you can do them literally three times. So good, so inexpensive. And for 30% off, I know that I love these and use them. So I'm just gonna stock up and keep sticking them on my nails. We are talking about 30% off skincare. Tula, Juice Beauty, and Indie Lee are all 30% off. Juice Beauty is very similar to Dermalogica in my book, but for an eco perspective. Dermalogica is an SD bestie. Juice Beauty is an eco-friendly lover's heaven. They are sustainable. They use recycled package like soup to nuts, start to finish. They care about the environment and about people. The thing with Juice Beauty is that products can be hit or miss or they can be expensive, but if you're getting them 30% off, they are so good. I specifically love a lot of their green 
green apple stuff. I've loved that for literally oof, 10 years now, 10 years I've been using that stuff. So good if you have acne prone skin and you want something that is plant derived and really good for the environment. And they actually have some ceramide moisturizers if you're worried about aging, really hydrating, really beautiful. Now, while that's 30% off with Dermalogica, so is Indie Lee. And Indie Lee is such an amazing human and she creates one of the most amazing lines. Literally, Indie Lee is like an eco-friendly beach vacation in pretty little glass packages. Now the issue is that it can be a little expensive. It's not something that I always indulge in, but as a gift for someone else or as a gift for yourself, if it is 30% off, absolutely. And at 30% off, that is what I stock up on. Whereas on a day-to-day -day basis, it's a little bit out of my price range. There's also 30% off of Truly Beauty and Truly Beauty is really fun. They are basically like a unicorn whipped products. Like they're very TikTok. The problem is that they come in these pretty glass packages, but a lot of their products are whipped. So it's like how much product are you actually getting? Now, this is not like a treatment brand. Like if you're trying to treat a problem, no, this is if you want to have fun and if you want to smell absolutely scrumptious. Truly Beauty has some of the best smells, literally like the best purple whipped body butters, the unicorn butters. Honestly, if you're depressed, Truly Beauty will make you happy. Maybe that's what I need to do. <laughs> Truly Beauty is so good, but again, it's a little pricey, but if you get it 30% off, that in my book makes it worth it. They actually have some phenomenal and really cute pimple patches too. There's also 30% off of Mira Strivectin, Philosophy, and Peach and Lily, all brands that I love that have some great products. Now again, not every single product from the brand is good, but 30% off is a yes. Murad's Acne Line, fantastic. If you have oily skin and acne and you're looking for a sunscreen that literally mattifies your skin, Murad is one of the best that I can recommend. They have an SPF 45 that is mattifying. If you're an oily person, that is where you go, but get it 30% off because full price, it's a pretty penny. Murad also has the Age Rewind line. Some of the most fantastic things. Look for them in the little green package. Um, they basically have retinoids in them. So good for the skin. Strivectin, again, can be hit and miss, but they have some fantastic lip products and wrinkle products. Do you want to treat wrinkles in a cruelty free way that is so effective, Strivectin. It almost blends the line between skincare and cosmetics because they do give you some long lasting results, but they also give you some instant results with things like the lip pen. Philosophy as well used to not be cruelty free. They recently went Leaping Bunny certified, which makes me so happy. And for 30% off, I'm stocking up on a lot of their stuff. I've tried their Bouncy Skin Serum. It is so good. It makes my face look so plump. It's like, it's, it's weird. I was having this conversation previously. It's like, I want plump, bouncy skin, but I don't want to look swollen and like I'm having an allergy attack. Does that, do you know what I'm saying? If you're trying to explain this to a non-skincare person, they will not understand, but I want to look plump and bouncy, but I don't want to look swollen and emotional. Okay, Th those are my skincare goals right now. And the Philosophy Serum does help me have plump, bouncy skin. So I'm restocking on that. And I think I am going to try some other Philosophy products because I literally haven't touched the brand in eight years since I went cruelty-free. If you have any products that you want me to buy and try so that you don't have to, please put those Philosophy products in the comments so that I can stock up on them at 30% off and let you know what is and isn't worth it. Peach and Lily is another cult favorite of mine. Their products can be a little more pricey, but they are so good. I just don't want to spend full price on them if I do don't have to. Some of their masks are bomb diggity. They have this like blue gel mask, gorgeous. And Peach and Lily in general is just fantastic. They also have pimple patches. They also have a sister brand called Peach Slices, which I believe is at Ulta. I don't know if Peach Slices is going to be on sale, but it better be. <laughs> I'm going to be looking for it. They also have 30% off of Youthphoria. Youthphoria is amazing when it comes to makeup. They have these little magnetic uh, options and the Youthphoria blush is actually what I use in my day-to-day -day routine and in my purse on the days that I actually get ready. They have this blush. It's called, I think it's called Chemical Reaction. It's a green oil. And when you put it on, it turns pink. One of the coolest, funnest things, I use it as a cheek and lip tint. Sometimes I even put it elsewhere. One of my favorite products, hands down the best makeup products I've ever used. And even if you have acne, it's something that doesn't irritate my skin, but it gives me a fresh dewy glow. Euphoria has other products, but that one's my favorite. They also have a spray, which is really, really, really good. I would recommend the spray as well. I'm stocking up on these 30% off. Yes, I've paid full price for them. I've gotten them full price, but I'm probably just gonna buy five or six of like the lip and cheek oils. Um, because they're 30% off and because I have no uh, regulation right now, emotionally or financially or otherwise. It's bad. We're working on it, okay? I am not a danger to myself or others, so just gotta keep reminding myself that I'm, I'm, I'm doing a good job. Sometimes just being an alive cowboy is enough. You know what I mean? And you know, we gotta talk about K-Beauty as well. There are two brands that are available at Ulta that are K-Beauty and 25% off. I wish they were 30% off, but these are already so inexpensive. I'm like, oh, how are you discounting? CauseRx and Dear Claire's both 25% off. I'm stocking up on the CauseRx cleanser 
one of my favorites, the Good Morning pH Cleanser. Mwah. A lot of people love their snail mucin. I don't stand behind the snails. There's other things that I recommend for that, but the Cosrx cleansers, some of their moisturizers, bomb diggity, so inexpensive and so good. There's also the Dear Claire's. They have this moisturizer that just feels like, I can't believe it's not butter on your skin. It is so good. It absorbs so well. And it's in this beautiful little blue package with ceramides. If you want something calming, K-Beauty that doesn't break the bank, first off, it's worth it full price, but get it 25 5% off. Don't do the full price thing if you don't have to. I love that I'm not actually in tears right now. I do think I need to stock up on some patches and see which ones actually help. Does anyone have a patch that works for like full face swollenness? Do I look swollen right now? I tried to deep puff my face with a face mask. I need something that works for like full face swollenness and I'm wondering if I can find that at Ulta or not because I want to do things while they're on sale because sales make me feel better. Those are the sale products that are actually worth it. It goes until July 15th, but some of the sales end early. Girl, I, I cannot ugh, mentally compartmentalize all these things. I'll try to leave the information that I have in the description, but this is how I am coping. <laughs> I'll bring you a review on some eye patches. If anyone wants me to try philosophy or if you know what I can use to depuff my allergy looking swollen face, please let me know. And if you see me in person, ask for a selfie. Yes, it will make my day. Just um, if I'm looking swollen, maybe don't mention that because I'm not, not feeling my best. But you know, it's better to be swollen than to not have a face, I guess. Always remember to stay hydrated both orally and topically, reapply that SPF, and always be beautiful inside and out. Even if you're sad, you can still be beautiful, okay? <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.